Hey there. So in this video, I am going to talk about Binance's trading interface. Now, it can get kind of confusing or overwhelming if you're new to trading. So that's why I created this video or am going to be talking about these parts right here. Now, if your screen doesn't look like mine, what you need to do is you'll need to go into the settings and then, you know, choose whichever one. But right now I'm on full screen and fresh and on dark mode or night mode. So that's why my screen may look like uh, may look different from yours. So I'm going to talk about these things right here and what it all means. So there's spot, cross and isolated. Now they're all a little bit different and uh, you might be confused as to what those are. So Again, in this video, I'll be breaking down what the differences are between these three uh, and some of these functions over here, right? So I'm going to do that for both the buy and sell side. So Ethereum, let's just say the limit, right? So if I'm on spot and limit, now what that means is spot is I have funds that I currently want to use, right? So that means I actually have those funds. I'm not going to borrow anything. These are funds that I actually have. So for spot, I have this much in my account, right? So at the moment I have about 100 USDT and point about 0.22 Ethereum. So what it's saying is if I want to do a limit order, that means if I do 200, that means I want to do I want to buy Ethereum at $200. And let's just say I want to buy 0.1 Ethereum, right? This means that I want to buy 0.1 Ethereum for 20 bucks, which will cost 20 bucks at $200. So if Ethereum does go to $200, I should be able to get my 0.1 Ethereum and it will cost me $20. On the flip side, if I want to sell Ethereum and I want to sell at $400, I put and I want to let's just say 0.1, then I would put that in and it, it would give me $40 assuming that Ethereum goes up to $400, right? So 400, 0.1, $40. And you know, if I, let's, if I press sell Ethereum, it'll create an order, but I'm just going over these different menu options with you to clarify what they're all about. So that's what the limit, a uh, spot limit buy and sell are. Right, so that's that particular option right there. Now, if I go to market, market means that I want to buy or sell at whatever price, uh, market prices. So right now, it looks like the buy. If I wanted to buy 0.1 Ethereum, I would pay this much. I would buy it for 244.85, whichever one is the best price here. Right on the flip side, if I want to sell my Ethereum, I got to sell it to someone who's buying it. So it's I would have to, uh, I would get 244.84 for that, for the one Ethereum. That's assuming that there's enough in the order books. Yep, but there is. So that's what market on spot is. Now, if I go to stop limit, right, this is a little bit confusing, but what it basically means is if the price goes up or below a certain price, then I want to get it. Right, so example, let's just say, uh, and again, this is more for higher advanced traders who like to buy on breakouts. So example, uh, or uh, or if you're margin trading and you have to cover your shorts, for example, but I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but this is what it means. If the price of Ethereum goes to $300, if it goes beyond $300, I'm willing to buy Ethereum up until three hundred and one dollars, and you you know let's just say I want to buy one. Well, I can't do that, but zero point one, right? So I want to buy one Ethereum. If or zero point yeah zero point one Ethereum, if the price goes up above three hundred dollars, up until three hundred and one dollars. So that's what it means, and it will cost me this much. On the flip side, this is saying that if Ethereum right now goes below $200. I'm willing to sell it for $200 up until 199 and I'm going to put in my limit, right? So that's that means if 
Ethereum goes below this number, and I'm going to sell it up until 199, and it'll automatically sell. Now these, the stop limit is more for risk management, right? So some people who are in trading positions, they might say, okay, I'm willing to take this much risk, right? But if you're someone who buys and holds, you don't really need to worry about stop limits. Now the other thing is OCO or the order cancels order. This is very similar to stop limit, but instead they have a, uh, an extra function here. So this means, so if I, if you look over here, the stop limit and amount, they have that exact same thing for OCO, but the only thing that they add here is what is what they have at the top. So what this is, OCO means it's order cancels order. So if one order happens, it'll cancel the other. So example, I want to buy Ethereum at $200. Or if it goes above 300, I will buy. And again, I'll buy up to 301. So this means if Ethereum goes to 200, I will get this. I will be able to get it for uh, 0 0.1 or if Ethereum goes above 300, then my order gets executed, right? So that's what this part here means. It's one order will cancel the other. So it's kind of like you're uh, in between. Your your order is just outside. It's sandwiching the market value, right? So that's what this means here. And this is kind of the same thing. If, example, it goes to two hundred dollars or uh, example sorry if it goes to four hundred dollars i will sell or if it goes to uh, two hundred and then oops uh, 199 and 0 0.1 this is the opposite if ethereum goes to four hundred dollars i will sell 0 0.1 of it or if this happens first or either one then, or if Ethereum goes to 200, I automatically sell. So it one order will cancel the other. So that's what that means for OCO on spot, spot market, right? So that's only for spot. Now there's other parts here where there's cross and isolated. Now I'm going to talk about that. So if I go to cross, right, now you, you'll notice that you'll have the limit market OCO which is the same, right? That, that stuff I've just talked about, it's all the same. But what cross margin is, is basically you are borrowing on margin. You have the option to borrow on margin, right? So there are three different options here. There's normal, borrow, and repay. So for example, borrow or normal, this is how much I have in my margin account at the moment right, of 970 USDT, but if I want to borrow, that's the maximum how much I can borrow based on my current position, right, or if I want to repay it, uh, then, you know, that, that's something else, but, but I haven't borrowed anything at the moment. So, for example, when you margin trade, right, just as you would with a, uh, a regular account when you trade, just as you would on spot, what margin trading is, is you're borrowing funds to now uh, place your order, right? So example here, if I do normal, this is, I can only buy a maximum of $970 uh, worth of USDT at whatever price, right? But if I borrow, right, now I can borrow up to this amount to place an order, right? So that's what the borrow is. The repay is once I've uh, once I've uh, bought it back, and then I repay it back to Binance, which I've borrowed it from. Right, so that's what that means. And that's it's the same with the sell side. You can sell right now. I don't have any Ethereum in my uh, cross margin account. You will have to put Ethereum in there. So, example, if I did click on transfer. Right, and I can transfer from my spot account to my margin account. So that's what I can do right there. Or I can borrow uh, some Ethereum, 
right? So if, example, if I click on borrow, it'll show me how much Ethereum I can borrow, right? That's how much Ethereum I can borrow. And this is more so for short selling, right? If you want to borrow Ethereum, right? So that's what that is. And then you can also repay it. So let's just say you, you borrowed some uh, or you, you borrowed some Ethereum and then you want to repay it, right? So that's what that option is. So pretty much the only difference between spot and cross is that you can borrow on margin or trade on margin or borrow essentially, right? And there are some functions here that allow you to borrow and repay. Now, isolated, oh, I haven't created that, but if you haven't created it, you're gonna have to create one, just click on that. And the only difference between the isolated and cross is just how the risk is calculated. So isolated means that it's only for Ethereum. So that means my risk, I can leverage up to 10 times only specifically on Ethereum against whatever collateral I've put in there. Now cross is across all of my assets that are in that account and on different um, I guess positions or or different cryptos that I have so isolated and cross they're exactly the same but if I I, I have to put money specifically in the isolated account so there's you, you'll have a spot account your cross account and your isolated and the way the risk is calculated if you're margin trading or borrowing it's calculated differently between cross and isolated, which makes sense because for isolated, it's just Ethereum's price where they calculate your risk. Cross is all across all the cryptos, right? So, and, and that could very well change. So that's pretty much how you can use Binance's interface right here. I mean, it, it is kind of confusing, especially if you're new to crypto and you don't really know how to trade just yet uh, it it can be overwhelming or kind of confusing if you're just honestly if you're new to crypto just stick with the spot section right here if you're feeling kind of risky then yeah maybe do some margin trading but i i wouldn't recommend that unless you knew the risks of margin trading right so uh there there's a lot of risks involved especially if you something called getting liquidated or margin called and that's something that you don't want to happen it basically means that they've uh, taken your collateral and uh and whatever you've put in is all gone so yeah but that can't happen on spot because you're not borrowing anything all right so yeah anyways that's uh that's pretty much binance's trading interface and i hope that uh i was hope i was able to help you out if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because I do check them and uh, I do respond to them. If you are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.